How's it going guys? Eric here from OneHive 2.0 bringing you another video to the series Back to the Basics from OneHive Labs. Today what we're going to be talking about is how to kill a CC once you've pulled it and what we're going to be going over today is one of the most efficient ways when you're using hogs and that's going to be the 212 and what the 212 is is two witches, one wizard and two barbs and it gets its name because that's what fits in a town hall 9 cc that has 30 spaces so we're going to show you two different ways of how it works alright so looking at the first type of cc deployment first type of 212 deployment is the cc sorry and that is going to be shown here with Ivan's tech against their 11 He's using the he's using his hero or his king to pull the CC and take out the enemy queen, which is a great use of his king. And just going over some advantages of using a CC two one two, you get to press one button to deploy the whole thing, which is nice. And also, if you only have level one witches, you can have level two witches in your CC. So that's just really important because two one two really only works effectively with level two witches. So I take keep that in mind if you have only level one witches. But another thing right here is that he is putting a minion down to get the CC pullover. He's doing that so the skeletons don't run over as fast as the rest of the troops do. So he can hopefully get the witch before he gets the skeletons. He drops two barbs along with the beginning of his two one two. He's doing that just as a kind of a meat shield for his witches and the wizards. So all the other CC troops to kind of target his barbs before they target anything else. He has his two extra wizards that are going down to just help to speed up the process of killing the rest of the CC troops. And he has his queen going down as well. His queen going down just because he's going to need to put his queen on the side anyway. And his queen is going to really speed up the process of killing the, the enemy CC. So that's just a really good use of his CC, especially since he needs to, or a yeah, good use of his queen since he needs to put it over anyway. All the trash buildings are getting cleaned up. His queen's going on the inside. The 212 worked out well, and now his queen's going to take kill his, the, go ahead and target the enemy king. So that 212 went perfectly, just exactly the way you'd want it to. And we're going to go ahead and check out the next attack on, or using your own witches instead of a CC witches. Alright, so the advantage of using your own witches instead of taking them in your CC are you can, first of all, if you're a level 5 clan, or I guess if you have tunnel 10s in your clan as well, you are able to take a level 5 max golem in your CC then. And that's not something you could do as a town hall 9 by yourself, like to create one. So it's really just helpful to be able to take something that you can't do on your own. And another big part of bringing your own witches is what you can see here is that he spawned his witches, or he placed his witches at two different times. He gave them about a second or two in between each one. And what that's doing is placing his the skeleton spawns for each witch on different times. So that's meaning that his one witch is going to spawn however many skeletons. It's going to wait a second. His other one's going to wait two seconds after that and spawn his skeletons or her skeletons so they're always going to be spawning skeletons and there's always going to be skeletons on the just being produced and being out there so there's never going to be a lack of skeletons which are going to create your witches to get hit so he drops his golems he drops his wizards he drops his queen all to just get the cc out as you can see as one witch is getting hit here but she doesn't die um, his wizards are being dropped. He's going to start creating a funnel, as you can see, with the other wizards on the outside. And that's really important. He drops his wall breakers just to make sure that those are going to go in. And he drops a jump spell as well. So all the CC is already down. He didn't quite get all the CC when he first initially pulled. But that's going to be absolutely fine because his king and queen are coming in. And they're going to be able to do plenty of damage to the queen he already has to do damage to and the CC troops. And his... Both of his witches are still alive, and that's another big thing when you talk about the CC pull and using witches to kill, is that for if you do it right, 
A majority of the time, your witches are going to survive the entire fight. So having your witches constantly spawning skeletons is like having another golem that just never dies. So it's just really important to make sure that you use uh, 212 if you're going to be killing hogs, or if you're going to be using hogs to kill the enemy CC in a lot of cases, just because it really, you get more, I don't know, you just get more value out of 24 spaces than you would if you're using however many wizards or however many whatever else to kill. The only time it's not really effective to use a 212 is if you're going to be using all those witches, or the two witches, and your wizards and your barbs, so 30 spaces on a side where you're not going to be bringing in your kill squad. If you're going to be doing that, you can use a Valkyrie or something different, or a Loon Drop, depending on what's in the CC, to kill that entire CC, and it's going to take a lot less spaces. So we'll do a different series, or a different video on this in the same series, just how to kill um, a CC if you're not going to be coming in from the same way without witches. So if you guys have any questions about anything we really covered in the video about 212s or just why they're effective or whatever questions you guys have or if you think I didn't explain something right go ahead and leave a comment in the just section below and we'll get back to it as soon as we can. So I hope this has kind of helped you guys just with the knowledge of 212s and just the execution of it. So I really hope it helped you guys. Thanks for watching.